Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about the Master Multiplied. For four colors, one red and one black, it's a legendary creature, Time Lord Rogue, 4-3 with Myriad, the legend rule doesn't apply to creature tokens you control, and triggered abilities you control can't cause you to sacrifice or exile creature tokens you control. So this is so cool, such a Johnny build around card, I absolutely love it, and it's again an incredible design for a commander. It's also a super kill on side commander because it's going to get out of hand really quickly. So obviously this has Myriad, Myriad is a triggered ability that's going to cause you to sacrifice or exile tokens, and that's not going to trigger while this guy is in play. The cool thing is that as soon as you attack with him once, you're going to get three copies of him. That means that they're going to have to remove all three copies, or you're going to get to keep those tokens permanently. And if they don't remove all three copies, they're going to then trigger next time they attack and multiply exponentially. More and more and more masters multiplied, literally. That does mean that this is one of the most kill on side commanders that we've ever seen. Six mana is really expensive, of course, so it should be fairly easy to deal with in higher powered tables. But you've got to imagine in a deck like this, you're going to be packing so much protection. Obviously haste is something that you really want on this card as well. Swiftfoot Boots and Lightning Greaves are best friends with this guy. But the thing I really like about him is the amount of possibilities that he opens up for deck building. There are so many different effects that you can trigger that are going to give you tokens that then die at the end of turn in red and black. And this allowing them to stick around is just super cool. You can amass a huge army of tokens that would normally just disappear. Additionally, the legend rule not applying is also really sweet and it makes a bunch of cards from the past that much better. Something like Delina Wild Mage is going to be sweet with this. Rionia Fire Dancer is obviously an amazing one as well. You can go really nuts by giving certain creatures Myriad and then just kind of exploiting that and getting multiple copies of Legendaries. There's probably a bunch of infinite stuff that you can do with it. Aoma comes to mind as a really good card with this. If you have a way to make multiple Aoma tokens, because all the tokens you're getting with the Master are Legendary as well, so whenever any of them dies, they're going to trigger Aoma. You're going to get an extra combat stat etc etc there's just so many ways that you can go around breaking this and i think it's going to be fun to try to figure it out again six mana is super expensive so it's not going to be the highest power thing because you are going to have to wait quite a while before getting this guy online but there's just so many cool shenanigans with this and it's such a unique design again from wizard that i can't help but be excited about it and can't wait to build a deck list with this guy too so there you have it those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler what do you think about this card please let me know in the comment section below i read all comments and respond to all of them too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care. Woo!